So actually, we are buying alcohol in a shop. What's the name of the alcohol? It's called Bond 7. In Uganda, <laughs> that's so surprising. I know in Kenya that cannot happen. Okay. Let me test one first of all. Oh, the locusts actually. Yeah. Oh. Very nice. These are um, Ugandan food. Just next to the street, man. Okay, let me test. What about this chicken? How do you find it? We have eaten uh, 33,500. He's actually a diplomat. And this one is an aquamarine engineer. So I'm the only joker in the family. So you are Kenyans and you are Tanzanian? Yes. Wow, man. <laughs> My name is Untal The Voice. So today we are in Jinja, Uganda. So this is the main street, Jinja. And basically what we are doing today, uh, it's not like you are doing something actually. We are going to look for something to eat, man. Since, you know, I travel. Remember, I ate some chicken, you know, in that vehicle. But we need to have some good lunch, you know. So that's what we are looking right now. So after eating, now then we'll make a round together with my cousins here who will show us around uh, because uh, they are conversant with this country. With me, okay, not that conversant. Of course, I know Uganda, but they know better. So, let's go. I've observed something, actually, for Kenyans watching this. Uh, actually, this city, like this main street, coming all the way from this side, going to this side, actually looks like Kisumu city. What, what can you say about that? On my side, I think it looks like uh, Kisumu city. Even uh, the arrangement, even how the streets are very straight, looks like Kisumu in Kenya. For those who don't know, Kisumu actually is uh, one of the cities, it's a port city actually, on the shores of Lake Victoria, um, found in Kenya, East Africa. So, something interesting about Jinja. Jinja is also a touristic destination, like you find a lot of tourists uh, at this place. So, same to Kisumu. Is it Kisumu? Is it uh, touristic? Actually, tell me in the comment section if you're watching this. So we are going to look for food right now. That's what uh, we are doing here today. Not doing here today. Actually, we are hungry, so we need to look for food. That's what we are doing. This we are going to look for food, and that is street food. We are going to look for Uganda uh, staple meals. I know Uganda staple meal like uh, it is uh, matoke. And um, what do we take with matoki actually? Is it some, uh, is it pounded? I think pounded uh, peanuts or maybe groundnuts. So let's go and look for it. All right, how do you find ginger so far? Ginger Uganda, man. How do you find it, man? For me, I find it so beautiful. For me, I find it uh, like Kisumu. Actually, the weather here, weather is kind of like Kisumu. It's actually very hot, very hot. Not that very hot like the Middle East, actually, but it is hot, right? Hot like uh, the coastal region, cold. Uh, maybe if you have ever, uh, ever been at the coastal region, that type of hotness. I think, is it because it is close to Lake Victoria and also close to River Nile? Actually, hey, after this video, I'm going to show you River Nile. I'm going to show you the source of River Nile that comes all the way from Uganda to Egypt, to the Mediterranean. Man, just imagine, it comes from Uganda. I mean, the source of River Nile is here in Uganda. So we need to cross that other side and uh, I'll let you know uh, when we reach a place where we can go have some meal. So for now, let's go. Do you like it? Uh, how much is this one? We went to small. How much? Let me test one first of all. Just test. Oh, they're locusts actually. Oh. Very nice. <laughs> no, but they're nice. No, for us. No, no, no. White ants. The ants. So, this one, so you're eating locusts here. How, how much is this? Ten thousand. Uh, this one. This small one. How much is this? How much? Two thousand. Give us this one. We don't want to take a lot of it then for the first time. So one thousand, one thousand uh, is like uh, twenty six Kenyan shillings, which converts to twenty or twenty five cents in terms of dollars in Jinja, Uganda. So let's have a taste of it. Oh, oh this is mine. So 
It is 2000. Still enough. So, I think this is among the weirdest things uh, I've uh, eaten. You remember the other time we ate, uh, what, what is it called? Lava. Dudu Manyon. And uh, I've eaten um, a lot of bad things or good things. But this one I've eaten. When I was young, we used to say, but not like this color here. So, our time to go. Now, we want some So, we want matoke. some matoke here. Matoke. Just along the we street here. Matoke. In Ginger and Street. Uh, our, our food is ready now. <laughs> Now, this is um, Ugandan food, just next to the street. Okay, let me test. What about this chicken? How do you find it? Mmm, it's good. Some people do say that you do look alike. Is it true? Tell me in the comment section. And this one. You remember, there is a photo I actually uploaded in one of my social media platforms during his... Um, He's a graduation. He's actually a diplomat. And this one is an aquamarine engineer. So I'm the only joker in the family. So <laughs> <laughs> you can imagine. He's a diplomat by profession, actually. He's an aquamarine engineer. And I'm a YouTuber. Man. Hey, when you say the, marine, this, you know, this, it sounds so complicated. Yeah. I'm just a fish farmer. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to give me now? As a graduate of the University of Nairobi and a graduate of Technical University of Kenya. But um, yeah. he lives here in Jinja, Uganda. Yes? No. Very nice. Now it's my time to take uh, some matoki. Yes. What do you, you still have fish? What? Perfect. Very nice. Actually, very nice. No exaggeration. Actually, super amazing. You want to know how Uganda can make people weird? My cousin is eating a chapati here with fish. <laughs> it's crazy. All right. I actually enjoyed the meal. It was so nice. The chicken was legit. It was uh, African chicken, natural chicken, not GMO ones, or maybe broilers. So, just waiting here for the gentleman to finish. The one eating chapati with fish, then we proceed on. So, we are done with our meal. So, the bill is here. We have eaten uh, 33,500. So, here is our bill. 33,000. 500 shillings how much is that how much is that by the way when you can buy that's around that's around 33 it's around a thousand plus a thousand it's around a thousand plus Kenyan money which is around uh, ten dollars in terms you know of usd so we were done with the meal now we are going downtown of ginger town so let's go so this is like the central market so there's so many things going on, uh, go, going on here. So we are looking for one of the interesting things. One of the things that you want to look is uh, their market. And uh, some of the things that they sell, like maybe in your home country, maybe you don't have something close to that. So let's keep moving. So this is the Ginger Central Market. Makere okay, University. University. <laughs> okay, it's a very serious market here. The, this market actually reminds me of uh, Nyabugogo market in uh, Rwanda, Kigali. So, interesting, eh? It's actually a very busy market. But it's not very different from other African markets, actually. If, if you watch my, my videos in other countries, it's almost similar to Baikitro. Can we buy something? Uh, Just what can we buy? What can we fruits. buy? What can we buy? Avocado. Nyabu, how much is an avocado on your side? How much is it? <laughs> How are you? I want to buy something. Uh, at least to have something in this market. So, so we, we want to buy a purple here. It has been quite some years. I, I don't think, maybe for more than, uh, I think, five years I've never eaten a purple. But avocado is a very common fruit in Nairobi, Kenya. So, let's taste this one. We're going to buy this one. 
uh, it is 3,000 Ugandan shillings, which converts to around one dollar, less than a dollar actually. So we are waiting for the lady to come with a knife, so it, you know, she prepares it or cuts it. All right. The beautiful lady is preparing for us some pork. Hey, What's your name? Kamurai. Kamurai. Mili. Mili. So it is really long time, eh? <laughs> I went. I went. Just waiting here. This market is so big, actually. So it's like uh, when you go up, you find things like uh, people selling clothes and you know uh, fabric and so on, furniture. But down here, it's most, mostly is uh, groceries, as you can see. Yeah, sure. Beef, chicken, mix actually. Wow. Spare parts, zamagari, okay. second hand items, majority cans, nini zone to go to the whole question. Oh. Mm. Mili. 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 So begin with the oldest. Mili, she's done preparing here some. Can yeah? Can I'm told Can this is plantain. On my side, I'm seeing this as bananas. So tell me the difference between the plantain and bananas. Because on my side, I don't understand really. You see, these are bananas. Okay, if my you are Nigerian watching this, tell me is this are these bananas or are these plantains? So what's the difference? Now we're leaving ginger markets. They sell uh, food and alcohol. All right. So we're going to a shop that sells uh, actually food and alcohol. So how strange is that in your country? Because in Uganda, that's a normal thing. So let's go. So. This is like a yeah. banana market. So there is a difference. What is the difference between uh, bananas and uh, plantain? I see almost the same thing. Sweet bananas. Okay. <laughs> this market is so big, man. It is in a ginger city. Uganda man I think that government did some good job man I'm really really plow, proud of their government yeah? oh wow so we are inside the you know the city market here in Jinja city in uh, Uganda Okay. You know, when you say, <laughs> or if you're greeting someone, you say, Mpole. Oh, like, uh, sorry for the job. Pole, uh, how can you translate that from, you know, so you know, Swahili, it makes sense, but in English now, you know, like it is a polite way of saying, you know, uh, it's a good job, kind of something like that. Yeah, well done. Wow. Come on, Nigeria, but on a Samanga, well done. Okay. All right. I'm a good. So we want. What is the name? In Itwaje, what's the name? In Ita, tobacco. Ta, oh, ta, tobacco for oh, tobacco. tobacco. Oh, oh. Lakini tobacco hi. Yeah, oh, it's tobacco. Aha, you say na tengenezo na mnagan. Iyo. Iya na. Iya na tuanga tuanga. Aha. Uh -huh. So it is tobacco that is pounded with some water in it to make it look like this. So you can make you high. That is it has nicotine. That is. Yeah, a lot of things. Wow, someone is selling some ropes here. So we just want to know what is it. Are this, this kuber? kuber. Ah, this kuber, man. So when you take this one, it makes you high, man. It's called Kuber. It's a very common drug in Kenya. Ugandan money. Okay. Oh. So it is like ladies who take it a lot, a lot of this man. 500 Ugandan shillings, that's close to 10 shillings Kenyan money or 10 cents in terms of dollars. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> 
I've never seen a market that sells drugs in an open market, man. <laughs> Look at this, man. It's a drug, man. <laughs> Do you know this this game here? It's an African game. Others call it Bao, Ajua. I don't know how they call it here. They are doing it just in an open air market here. Is it open mail or closed air market? Meso. 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 Oh, here in Uganda it's called Meso. Ajua must be in your bow or something like that. That is an African game. <laughs> I'm told it's just a matter of luck. It's not like there is someone who is a pro here. Interesting. I'm surprised to see the Maasai people in, uh, in Uganda, Ginger. Miasali. <laughs> what is this? Dawa. Oh, that's medicine. Oh, okay. Okay. Eh? Wewe ni wa Kenya? Mimi ni wa Tanzania hawa ni Tanzania wapi ninajua Tanzania ino Tanzania? Arusha? Arusha unapita direct unaingia kaato baba unaingia nyumbani Ngorongoro. Oh Ngorongoro, I know Ngorongoro. I, I was in Arusha uh, 3 months ago, 2 months ago nilikuwa Arusha miezi mitatu iliyopita. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wewe pia unatoka Arusha? Unatoka Arusha pia wewe? Yeah. Ah very nice. Yeah. So unapita Kajiado I'm on a Pitya Kiserian. Ah, Untoka Kajado. Major Kiserian. You know Kiserian. Tinga. Yeah, Najonga Tatai. Ah, very nice. So you are Kenyans and you are Tanzanian. Wow, man. <laughs> wow. It was interesting. Interesting to see uh, the Maasai in uh, in uh, Jinja, Uganda. So, all right. So we want to buy alcohol in a shop. So we are looking for for a place to buy. <laughs> There's a culture shop that you have here in Uganda. <laughs> so we want to buy alcohol in a shop. How much is it? How much? This is 2500 2500 and uh, bond 7 bring bond 7 together with a UG is 5000 each you have UG coconut that is more. Uh, and you have bread bread <laughs> bread how much you want to talk about bread ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> okay okay the point how, is yeah how much is this this is 5000 5, yeah. okay with water give us with cold water three bottles one ki for 500 500 eh? So actually we are buying alcohol in a shop. What's the name of the alcohol? It's called Bond 7. In Uganda, <laughs> that's so surprising. I know in Kenya that cannot happen. So I came to confirm. So you see the normal shop? Yeah? Bond 7 doesn't No, it does not. I don't think so. I've not seen it before. No, 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 I've not seen it. So what is that? This is of Nile. No, we don't have Nile there. Even Bell, we don't have. We have Guinness, <laughs> Tasca. Man. So man. This, this is a normal shop, man. Is it like normal for Ugandans to sell alcohol in a shop? Is it a normal thing? Or yeah, it's normal. It's normal. Plus, yeah, we do it. Man, uh, I'm really surprised. <laughs> Okay, uh, no. tomorrow eh? we are looking for someone to give the alcohol. We just wanted to confirm. <laughs> That's crazy. That was crazy. So we bought alcohol in a normal shop here in Uganda. So I know in many East Af not even East African countries, in many countries you cannot do that. That was surprising, surprising to me. So guys, uh, I really appreciate. Thank you for the time for watching and following Tell the Voice. It has been a pleasure, man. If you've not subscribed, man, please, man subscribe there support me drop a comment like share of course and if you're a ugandan watching this right now i'm in ginger actually so you can suggest to me some of the places that you think you can visit with beautiful stories and i'll be there to represent you man thank you for your time it's already evening what's the time right now it is uh 6 32 that is uh pm and uh we need to go somewhere i mean we need to close this vlog so my cousin's there.
They're looking for someone to give out this. <laughs> My name is Mutado Voice. Have a beautiful time.